We gotta make sure there's okay, a lot of people see. watching this. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That's awesome. How long have you guys been living on your trespass property? Uh, We're not trespassing. We bought the food here, we're eating the food here. How's that trespass? Private property? They want it's not private, it's public it's property. Why do they, 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 they want us to leave? Yes. That means you have access to it with permission. Come up the private property. I bought the food and I'm going to eat here. You're breaking the law. Say that's your first law. Here's the thing. Okay, Dorman's going to show you. I'm going to show you the law. You want to see? We're going to show you the law. We've got the law right here. You want to see? If you guys don't want to leave, you'll be escorted off the property. Let me ask you something. Why are they asking us to leave? Why are you guys asking? Why? Why are you asking us to leave? Why? Why? That's the question. They promote segregation. That's why. Let them speak. Let them speak. Why? There's a new procedure. Procedure is not a law. Hey, let, let, let him hear him out. Hear him out. Hear him out. says you have to have your vaccination passport to be seated to eat on a private park. Okay. Right? That's why. Do you understand that you have absolutely no right? Do you want to quote this here? Go ahead. Yep. So yep. under the law, you cannot which call law? it. Which law? It's right here. We under, have it all right here. Right here. I've got all the You're laws right here. Law. Okay. Yeah. So we've got one, the Immunization Act of 1997 that says that in Canada, you cannot mandate vaccinations anywhere Don't in Canada. Does that supersede the Trespass Property Act? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's a federal law. It 100% does. It's a law. It's not an act. It, it's, a, it's a law that all laws must adhere to this and you cannot mandate Are vaccinations. Are them access? Based on what though? Based on, based, hold on. Hold yeah, on. he's doing it. Not, he's doing okay, it. Okay. Are you banning them based on a rule that the mall has for access? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. You answer the word? You're answering the word? You're answering the word? Don't put the word in his mouth. So, the Trespass and Property Act dictates that... Okay, let, let me show that. Hold on, hold on, we have, Okay, we the have that here as well. The Trespass and Property Act dictates that him has the right to tell you to leave. Okay. And if you don't leave... Mm -hmm. Okay, can I show you the Trespass and Property Act? From the property. Can I show you the Trespass to Property Act? We have a reader. I will. Give me one second. The Trespass to Property Act, section number two, states as long as you're in there taking part in the business that they advertise, you are not trespassing. It does. Yes, it I have does. it right here. 100% it does. It's right here. We are not in here causing a nuisance. We came in, we bought food. Right, We're sitting at a table sure. eating our food. These We're not causing a nuisance. We're not being belligerent. We're not stealing. We're not doing anything against the law besides sitting down eating the food that we purchased that they sold to us. So we are 100% within the law, Trespass Act, section number two. We are not causing a nuisance. We are doing what everybody else. I'm trying to yeah. find it. You know where it is. You put this together. Go no, it's in here somewhere. Yeah. I think so you may have passed it. What we're trying to do right now is educate the officers as to what the laws are because they're questioning whether their take on the laws is I think you passed it. What the law oh, what's that one? That? What, what's okay, the that's the, that's the reopening act, so it's after this. Eight, nine. We're coming up here, guys. 8932. Right here, trespass to property act. Do you want to look at it? So, right here. Section number two. We are not trespassing because we are taking part in an activity that is allowed. They You're advertise under right of authority and the right of authority. His authority. No, 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 no. He doesn't have the authority to man. He doesn't have the man. No, no, no. Listen. He doesn't have the authority to mandate every person, vaccination. Every person who is acting under a right. So I have a right not, not to show referring it. referring to you. They're referring to him. No, 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 no. They're referring to us. Every person. I'm a person who is not acting under a right or authority will be trespassing. I am acting under a right. He has no right to take, to ask me for my vaccine history. It's against the it's law. It's against the, the law. Read it, read it. Yeah. Without yeah. the express permission of the employer, the, 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 the proof of which of, rests on the defendant. He has the express Age in an activity the on the premises when the activity is prohibited. Yes, the activity which, you're doing is prohibited. No, it's, it's, not. Not. it's not. Eating activity, food that I'm we bought here, rules. eating they food, to make rules. they don't, they don't get to policy outside of the law. On top of that, on top of that, we've got the Ontario Health and Privacy Act that says he has no right to ask us what our personal medical history is. That is a law. Under the Immunization Act of Canada, he has no right to ask us to be vaccinated in order to come here. Under the law, we have the right to come and purchase the food that they've advertised for us to purchase and eat it here. And you They're cannot, not and they you cannot policy, policy outside the law. Outside the law. Outside that the is law. very, very clear. The government knows right now that they can't force, force vaccinate us all. Yeah. So and that's why they're not doing it. Thinking that they can do it. They're telling you to have a vaccine policy. Uh -huh. And they're tricking them into do it. Exactly. It's discrimination under the Human Rights Code. 
And they have no right to do it. Under the Privacy Act, they have no right to ask for our medical Personal history. Personal Health Information Protection Act. Sure, guys. Sure, 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 I've got sure, sure, all the laws right here that they are breaking. In fact, you should be charging them for breaking the laws. Harassment and uttering threats. Well, I'm clear. Under the criminal code, they have that. United States in history. How do you feel about segregation of Jews yeah. in Germany? How do you, how do you feel, feel about, about that? Okay. Right. Officer Langford, how do you feel about segregation policy? Brother, this how do you feel about segregation policy? No, I'm clear. Well, you're sure. No, but you're, you're here and you're... Yeah. No, but I'm asking your opinion. And I'm telling you, I'm not here to debate. Okay. It's not a debate, it's a question. You can ask him. No, I'm clear, but I'm just curious. How do you feel about segregation It's my job. It's my job. If they have a policy statement... If they have a policy saying no black people can come in here, are you going to enforce that policy? That they are breaking. They are breaking these laws. But he said he's going to. You know that you're a police officer. You know that. We're not breaking the law. It's not a law. It's not a trespass. It is not a trespass when you're here. Exactly. When you are here taking part in the activity that they specifically advertise, that is not trespassing. We came in, we, so we bought food, about and we sat down. How do you feel about harassing second-class citizens? Officer Chan, how do you feel about harassing second-class citizens? So we have Officer Chan and Officer Langford here. You just saw your history, Officer Langford. I wonder if they go to Queen's Park on Saturday. And by the way, everyone who's being quiet here, is you complying with this? I have no problem asking for identification for a human rights complaint and for criminal code charges to be pressed on every security person here that is breaking the law. Under the criminal code, this is uttering threats and this is harassment under the criminal code. And under the Ontario Health and Privacy Act, you have no right to ask me for my medical status at all. It's against the law. And, and under the Immunization Act, you cannot demand that I be immunized for any goods or service or contract. It is against the law. You are breaking the law. The government did not mandate this because they don't want to be in, be held liable. Exactly. And that's why the government didn't do it. That's why they're tricking businesses into doing it. But the businesses become liable. Under the criminal code, under the human rights code, and under civil action, you guys become liable for breaking the law. And I've got the laws right here for you to read. I have no problem sharing the laws with you. Our job is to educate everybody so that everybody is not discriminated against nor segregated against. You have the right not to be discriminated against based on your health situation. It's the law. It's the law. And we're all being lawful here. We paid for our food. We didn't steal it. We paid for it. And now we're sitting down where we bought it to eat it. That is that is perfectly legal to do. Right now it has to do with a uh, you know some kind of permit that you have Thanks, to Jim. some kind of drug. What about the next time? When it's a permit that you have to do something that you really don't agree with. We are doing our best to stand in our square and educate. A lot of people don't understand the law, and that, and that's okay, but we need to educate people what the law is and what their rights are. So we will do this. Not sure what they're going to do. They're, they're discussing it. Oh, are they waiting for... I thought this gentleman in the, in the suit was a supervisor. Freedom from discrimination. Every person has a right to equal treatment with respect to services, goods, and facilities. Okay, so they're waiting for the police supervisor. Let's just because see. Race, We're doing our best to stand in our square and educate folks. Color, ethnic origin, citizenship, creed, we are doing our best. Every I think they're starting to wonder if, if perhaps we are right, right because, because they haven't arrested us and they haven't dragged us out yet. I think they're starting to question whether we're right or not because they haven't arrested us and they haven't dragged us out yet. So uh, they're, they're looking for clarification from their supervisor, but we have the law on our side. The law is on our side. And if this goes bad for us, we get their names, badge numbers, and the name of every security person, That's and we right. charge them under the criminal code, 100%. we make a human yeah. rights complaint, and we take civil action against them. Because that is our right yeah. under the law, and the law is on our side. That's right.
personally. Yeah, remind them about personally. the... Yeah, you have, yes, you can't sue the establishment. You have to sue the individual that is uh, harassing you, the individual who is stomping on your rights. So it would be every single one of these people that are here individually. And under the Police Services Act, the police are to uphold the law and protect citizens. And when they don't uphold the law and protect citizens, guess what? Their liability insurance does not kick in and protect them. And now they have to defend themselves on their own dime, not under their benefit plan, because it will not cover them for breaking the law. And there's a precedent in, in Montreal, I think, in Quebec. A president in Montreal? Pre president, president being said that I think a police, I think transit police was personally liable and actually had to pay the damages to somebody that they harassed or ended up like giving them a wrongful death. That's awesome. So we have a precedent in this country exactly. where personally somebody was sued. And, and there's many court cases that are on, on the books that have set precedents. At the mall, the in way, the food court, we're sitting way, down uh, eating Jim, our food. We did Jim nothing. Was gonna start, he was hungry. This guy is always hungry. I love him. I love him. <laughs> yeah, no. Thank you so much. So he started eating the food in front of the counter where we bought the food. And the security lady came in and was like, oh, you're not allowed to eat here. You only can eat where you're vaccinated uh, in the food court. Uh, like, what? You literally so, have this adult treating us like children and telling us where we can eat or not eat. So then what we do is we go past the security guards to eat because we're not allowed to eat out there and they try to barricade us. So what are we doing now? We're eating with three cops and five security guards behind us because evidently... We're I super spreaders. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's very crazy. I, I, I feel like a celebrity right now. 100%. You know, I'm being oh my guarded gosh, from my serious. from my fans. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Best thing? In a restaurant. The best thing for these guys would have been is just to let us eat the food and live in peace. Yeah. Because right now what they did is created a scene yeah. and they educated all the people that we actually should be taking a stand and we can take a stand. So reach out to Jody Ledgerwood, give me your email address, I will send you the digital package. If you've got a Gmail account, Gmail has been trying to censor, so I've I've had to play with it. Um, so if you don't get it and you've got a Gmail account, maybe consider setting up a ProtonMail account and then you can get it that way or a Hotmail account because so far I'm not having issues with Hotmail or ProtonMail or Outlook. But uh, some of the Gmails are popping back saying it's a security risk. So Gmail is censoring folks. Um, so be patient if you've got a Gmail account. You can Google me and, and my email is jledgerwood at nhrealty.ca or send me a text 90. 5 I'll get the packages out to you. And this is how thick the package is, folks. It's, it's over 50 pages thick on knowing your rights. It's crazy thick. But it's important to know your rights. And I've highlighted all the stuff that is important to know. So I've, I've done my best to make it easy for you to go to whatever section you need to use. And okay. All right, so we're done eating, we've cleaned up. There's our table, all nice and clean. We put our chairs back that we borrowed. Thank you, have a great day. Thank you so much. And now we are going to this. And we did not show our papers, other than the law, because the law is very important to show to people, to educate people, right? <laughs> Here's the other sign they have here. Proof of vaccination. Yes. Accompanied by a government issued ID. So how how many how many children have government issued ID? How many children? How ridiculous is that sign? Children can't can't show that. Unless they have a driver's license, they don't have government issued ID.